Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Now I know how to run a campaign. I know how to, you know, navigate those horrible things, those obstacles that I fell into out of ignorance. Okay. Is that when you went on Joe Rogan? That's correct. Okay, because I remember Rich was saying that you were on Joe Rogan, and I was like, you know, that sounds familiar to me. And then I was looking at it today, and I was like, oh, I saw this Joe Rogan, and I'll mm -hmm. tell you why. As soon as I started looking at it, I started laughing because I I don't usually see Joe Rogan so combat combative. Yes. Right. And I was like, why is Joe Rogan in combat mode? Yep. <laughs> so that's the first thing I wanted to... We've, we're going to take questions and everything from everyone. But I want to ask you, what happened on... Like, what happened that, before that, that started was my rolling? Fault. I take full responsibility for that. And the really? problem is, I was in campaign mode forever. For anyone who's ever been in a campaign, if you run a real campaign, and some people do, some people don't, some people run a paper campaign. I ran a real campaign. I was doing over 30 events every single month over, sometimes 60 events a month. I was out there like there was no tomorrow. So literally, I flew into California that morning, mm -hmm. did his show, and flew back. Okay, how does, one, did, how does one get onto Joe Rogan in the first place? Do you just call uh, him up or they call you nope. up? Nope, you have a Twitter army that uh, goes out of their way and does that. And the one okay. advantage of being a libertarian, and you know, if you're a Republican or Democrat running in your local district, Generally speaking, you're gonna get people from your district. Why? In other districts, there's a Democrat or Republican running. Mm -hmm. But when you're running as a libertarian, particularly as a governor, there's maybe eight of us running in the entire country at any given time, and most aren't doing real campaigns. Right. So in 2018, I was pretty much the only game in town. Yeah. So I had like the entire country of libertarians on my side. Mm -hmm. Over half of my team wasn't in my state. Right. So, I mean, they were everywhere because, again, they don't have yeah. options. We're a small party. In most yeah. states, nobody's running. Yeah, I so think like, you took oh this God, on You took running. this on in, in a serious way. Like, you didn't take this on as a joke. You're like, no, hey, I'm I getting in here. I raised half a million dollars. Yeah. Well, I saw I you. I raised half a million dollars. So, I mean, when I was looking at the show, like, I understand what you were saying. You guys talked about the education thing for almost most. Hold on, I let think... me cover this. Uh, let me cover it. Yeah, let me cover it. I'm giving uh -huh. your answer. Okay. I spent every day talking to New Yorkers about education. Mm -hmm. Then I came to him and didn't realize he's not a New Yorker. So we were actually talking past each other. He was talking about, well, the teacher is losing money or teacher is struggling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if they live in Kansas or Oklahoma, that's true. In mm -hmm. Kansas, Oklahoma, teachers are in trouble. In New mm -hmm. York State, the average teacher makes $80,000 a year. The average mm -hmm. teacher makes 80 grand a year mm -hmm. and they're unionized, the union's super powerful. Mm -hmm. Teachers aren't losing their jobs or losing money. That's not even possible to happen. Mm -hmm. So him saying it, I was like, what are you talking about? And he was like, no, what about this? It yeah. just, I should have said, oh, I'm sorry, Joe. I'm talking New York State. That doesn't exist in New York yeah, State. But, and oh, I didn't do that. Okay, so a couple of things here. Like, um, one, I think you were a teacher at some point, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's, that's one. Two, like, I understood what you were saying. I come from a family of teachers. Grew up in New York. My dad retired Board of Ed. My brother, uh, one of my brothers right now is working at Board of Ed in New York. Um, but I think a lot of, I, I can't speak for everyone else. I know for me, I understood what you were saying. I just feel like Joe, and I like Joe Rogan. I watch the show all the time. But I feel like he was just going at you. Now, I've seen him have other people in there like uh, Bernie Sanders. He was just real nice to Bernie. He wasn't, you know, trying to hit Bernie with any tough questions. Um, you know, when well, when uh, Elon. Do you remember what I called Joe? You, do, do you? I think you said something about him being afraid, or no? I called him a Democrat. Oh, you called him a Democrat. Maybe something. Correct. But it didn't seem like you said it first to get him set off. It seems I like didn't. he was. It seems like he, he was, was set up. me like a Democrat. Yeah. I was like, I'm talking to a Democrat here. Yeah. I deal with Democrats and Republicans every day. I know how they talk. I can yeah. I can listen within ten minutes and know, okay, I know where you come from. Yeah. And he was being a Democrat. I, so I, like, I Democrat. think I think he was being uh I think he was being a socialist. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just want to put that out there. And I'm a fan of Joe Rogan. I'm a fan of Joe Rogan, but Look, I love everybody. I don't want to fight the left. I don't want to fight the right. I want to convert you all. I want right. everybody to be converted. Yeah. That's but what I, I, I don't want to fight anybody. Also, I think like no, I don't know anyone out there who says 
that teachers should make less money. I, I believe, I'm always huh. talking about the educational system in America needs to be completely revamped. Why? That- it's real easy. It's no, I'm, I'm surprised that Rogan was arguing with you because we all know it's not working. It's Correct. so blatantly obvious. If something's not working, we need to redo it and we need to take a drastic approach to redoing it. But no one, I don't hear people saying, let's pay teachers less. And I, no and, I and I never heard you say it. I heard you never say, let's take money away from, um, from, from like, uh, the big administrators. Yeah. The administrator, the, average the big administrator district. makes over $150,000 a year. Right. And in certain areas of New York, in certain districts, there are more administrators than teachers mm-hmm. to a point where they're in a separate building away from the kids. Mm-hmm. So the administrators are making double the money in a right. separate building yeah. and they never see kids. Yeah. New York City- I'm totally fine getting rid of those people yeah. and giving more money to teachers or mm-hmm. hiring more teachers or giving them more resources that aren't now going to administrators. And most of those administrators they're making sure that we follow federal guidelines mm-hmm. so we can get federal grants and get federal money. Yeah. So I can just tell you something. I met my wife, Lola, in New York City. She was she uh, she actually went to I believe you went to the University of Maryland, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She went to the university like UMBC. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, but then she she got she went to uh, Long Island University. That's where she got her pharmacy degree. And while she was going there, she was uh, she was working at the Board of Ed. And I used to go pick her up from there. Um, the guy that was running the board of Ed had a limo outside. That mm-hmm. guy was always going golfing. He had yep. bodyguards. It's insane. Yes. And I believe he, I forgot his name right now, but he was, he, he ran for mayor of New York City at one time. Because I think he became the controller after he was on the board of Ed. I mean, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare what's going on. And Joe Rogan was like pretending he he never heard about anything like that. And we all know that happens in L.A. as well. There are literally administrators in the New York State Department of Education who make three hundred thousand dollars a year or more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Literally three hundred thousand yeah. dollars a year or more, we have and they don't teach. deal with yeah. kids. Yeah. I mean, I used to sit there. I used to sit there in my car and watch that guy come out with golf clubs. Yep. You know, and Lola worked in his office. She was like, he spends most he spends most of his time playing golf and and doing all this kind of stuff. And this is what you were talking about. And it kind of like it kind of blew me away, like versus how Rogan was reacting to you, which I'm not sure. I really don't think. I mean, maybe it was you're a New Yorker or something like that. You were just too aggressive for him. <laughs> no, he was actually yeah. good at the end. He was like, the revolution continues. He was yeah. actually. Yeah, he was you guys got together. Afterwards. You guys got I mean, together. He, was, he, he liked he your good. bridge. He liked your bridge plan. He liked your bridge yeah. plan or something like Love that. Love that. The yes. toll. The toll so, thing. The, the funny toll part thing. is, is I don't know if you guys know how, how how Rogan works. He's very much just, hey, let's go talk. Right. Literally, I was there early. Mm-hmm. He drove up. We whatever we we're going on at two or whatever time we were going. I forgot what time we were going on. Say two o'clock for sake of argument. He mm-hmm. came in like 158 and he walked in and he went, it's sharp here. I said, yeah, right here. All right, let's do this. That was it. <laughs> that's how we started. I love it. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. what I, I try to just jump in there too. I was trying yeah. to tell you guys don't even talk to each other, yeah. you know, during the thing. And when but it was it, over, yeah. we went outside and he was shooting pool. Yeah. That was it. Joe Rogan. I like Joe Rogan. I like him. You know, uh, uh, I mean, we're, we're not all the same for sure, right? As human beings, we're not the same. I like him. But I, I don't know. I just noticed it was really, that's why I laughed. Because immediately when I, when I started that episode again, I was like, oh, I watched this. And I remember laughing, like, why are these guys fighting right now? And I understood what you were saying. But Rogan was just, well, I keep asking you. You're not answering. I'm like, how many times do you want this guy to tell you? <laughs> <laughs> the same thing and it's amazing because i never watched the one with bernie and i went deliberately to watch it and he was just so nice to bernie you know he had elon musk on who uh tesla's taking a lot of money from the government etc he literally wore a freaking pink shirt pink silk shirt and he told musk you tell me what car i should buy and then he was like okay i'm gonna write that down and buy it Look. But for Tesla some reason, is brilliant. I don't want to put. A, he's brilliant. Mm-hmm. He's a great entrepreneur. He's a hustler, and he is one of the best government grifters has ever been. Yeah, 
We've got to I be... mean, one of the best I've ever been. And I just give him props. Like, he sees the system. He's like, how can I get as much free money from the government as possible? Yeah. Oh, that's how. And yeah. he is, he's, he's amazing at it. Th there's an art of learning how to play certain people, I think. Yes. And I think that's what was happening with you because I think you were talking too much sense and it overloaded uh, Joe Rogan's brain for some reason. You know, because there's a part, there's somewhere in his brain, he's really like a socialist back there. And he didn't realize that, because I never heard you say, I'm going to take money away from teachers. We want them to be eating cat food or anything like that. Never. Yeah. Never. You know, so. I'm the opposite. I'm the only guy who says crazy things like, why would I have to have so many ministers for a teacher? And they go, well, make sure they're doing, I said, wait a minute. Aren't you telling me when you hire a teacher, they have mm -hmm. to have this education, this credential, this education, this degree, this credential. And they go, yeah. Then why are you overseeing them so much? Mm -hmm. If you're going to oversee every aspect of what a teacher does, hire high school kids. Why in the world would you get people with all these credentials mm -hmm. if you're not going to allow them to use those credentials and to be the teacher you want them to be? These people went through all this hell to be a teacher. They got every test, every credential, went through all the garbage and jumped through bu bureaucratic hoops to, yeah. so they could be in front of kids and make impact. And now you won't let them. Yeah, and I if wish. You're not gonna let them. Then just hire high school grads. Right. I wish someone like I wish he somehow maybe he just doesn't know about New York City and other cities like this. But I know, I know about New York City. There's teachers in New York City that are horrible and should not be employed in any industry anywhere. Correct. And you know what? Yes. I know this for a fact because I, I've seen it. Okay, that what they do, those teachers do all kinds of horrible things and they have places where they stash them and these yes. guys make hundreds of thousands of dollars sometimes yes. a New year York for City, doing nothing. There, there was one year and I think it was, was it, it was a statewide or was citywide where the state had to actually pay out $10 million in salaries in one year for teachers to not teach mm -hmm. because they were yeah. so bad at teaching, but because the unions, they could not fire them. Yeah. So they literally had a place for them in a gym. This is a true story. You can yeah. do it your home if you want. Oh, I know and this for a fact. I gym. know for a fact. Yes. They went to, and they yeah. sat in gym all day yeah. and got paid yeah. because I'm paying you, so show up. So they yeah. get dressed, sit in the gym for eight hours, go mm -hmm. home, get a paycheck. Yeah. This might be a guy who got caught um, selling drugs as a teacher yes. or Correct. or uh, like trying to kick it to a student or this thing or, or that thing. Or doing drugs. Yeah. With a student. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And what they they can't fire them, so they yep. literally give them a job under a bridge somewhere where they go up there and they do nothing all day. Correct. Yes. <laughs> you know. Absolutely. And this is the problem. It's the same thing with the police department. Lots of this is why New York City is in so much trouble. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.